you've got s- some killer keyboard setup going on there. Um, what's your preference in terms of, you know, analog keyboards? Do you have any cool, like, do you have a cool, any Juno? Do you have an actual 808 machine anywhere? Like, what's your sure, gear sure. like right now? Um, well, actually, what I really should show you is this bag. Yeah, let's get a studio tour here. See. Hold on, I can't really pick it up because my laptop's kind of tied in, but you can kind of see off in wow, the corner. It's jacked up. That's the Moog One, which is unbelievable. That's the workhorse for this record that we used. Uh, it's a badass piece of machinery right there. Yeah, so that's like the Moog Polysynth. Um, we have, I believe, the 8 voice version, not the 16, but 8 voice is uh, mucho big still. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, the other ones, we've got uh, the Prophet. Uh, oh, where is that one? Oh, Prophet's over there. Just uh, Moog. Uh, a Moog uh, sequential, and then an OB6, and then this is the, uh, that's the Dave Smith OB6, and this is the Korg Prolog. But I mean, to be honest, what I think is cool about Missio is there's like, there is an element of nerdery. I definitely can be a gear nerd, but we try to like, there's a dissociation of all instruments because like first of all we're not like a normal band like i like where you have a bass player and a guitar and that usually leads your arrangements so when we're approaching a song um like like actually when i'm setting up a studio for a missio session essentially what i have is i give matthew uh the best most dopest midi keyboard um that we can find has has good feel oh we've been using the the native instruments one the that has the the whole the the complete, complete yeah the, exactly exactly so i kind of use that as my brain and then i take the midi out of that and we midi send to every synth at the same time and we uh including a few other ones including software synths and then from there we hit all analog pre's and we're getting a mix going in to so a lot of times what you're hearing on a missio record isn't just i mean sometimes it is just the moog one here's or just the, but a lot of times it's like for the big, like chunky, like block type synth things that you hear. A lot of times it's like four or five synths stacked on top of each other. Sometimes the octave switched on different ones so that we've got the full range of sound. And it's really like one of the goals is, is to have, was having less instrumentation, but make those instruments just the most perfect melodies and stacked and thick. Um, so that we would we wouldn't have to uh, do as many stacking in terms of parts on this record. It would be more like more with less, I guess, was the concept that we were going in with. Yeah, we love detuning shit, uh, making it a little wobbly. And yep. it, it's been cool, too, because like. I, I, th- I think that is part of our sound is the the grossness and the thickness of some of the synths because it is multi layered and all kinds of stuff. So. Um, I credit brag about David a lot because he's kind of the tech genius and I just sit behind what he puts up in front of me and I get to play shit. So it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, 